The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard that John has been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went down to live in Capernaum by the sea, near the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, to fulfill what had been said through Isaiah the prophet. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, along the sea beyond the Jordan, Heaton, Galilee, a people living in darkness has seen a great light. On those who inhabit the land, overshadowed by death, light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to proclaim this theme. Reform your lives. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. As he was walking along the Sea of Galilee, he watched two brothers, Simon, now known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately abandoned their nets and became his followers. He walked along further and caught sight of two other brothers, James, Zebedee's son, and his brother John. They too were in their boat, getting their nets in order, with their father, Zebedee. Jesus called them, and immediately they abandoned boat and father to follow him. Jesus stirred all of Galilee. He taught in their synagogues, proclaimed the good news of the kingdom and cured the people of every disease and illness. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, and that people listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, mindfulness, mindfulness. Most of us, since we woke up this morning, we were just mindful of our own agenda. Of kagising, oh, I have to do this, I have to eat, I have to go to my cell phone and answer messages. Mindfulness is about, oh, there are other people around me. Excuse me lang po. Tignan mo nga yung nasa tabi mo. Right now. Oh, nandiyan pala kayo. Mindfulness is going beyond that. Maybe, hindi mo naman kakilala, 
Maybe you get to know the name of the person beside you. Now na. Ask the name. Ano ang pangalan ninyo? Yan. Mindfulness. Going out of your comfort zone. That's what discipleship is all about. And it starts where you are right now. So one more time, tignan mo naman yung katabi mo at matignan mo lang. Okay ba kayo? Okay ka ba? Yeah. Hmm. Anong ulam nyo? <laughs> This is it. You're talking of discipleship all over the world. It starts where you are. When you go beyond your agenda and when you reach out to another person, that's discipleship already. And today, you came here. You went out of your comfort zone just to be here, to honor our God, to say thank you, Lord. That's discipleship as well. Because discipleship starts with the Lord and it goes through you and it flows to other people. Oh. Pakibati mo naman yung katabi mo, Konghe Pachoya. Yeah. Happy New Year! Yan. Nasaan ang Tikoy? Thank you. We pray for our Chinese brothers and sisters. And mindfulness is always, what can I do for others? very clear if you ask the Lord what you can do today the gospel says come follow me and I will make you fishers of men question sino ano ang sinafollow mo follower ka ng ano Marami sa atin, we're always following the latest news, the latest stocks, what else? The latest uh, business trend. Or we follow, wow, a showbiz person, yan ang follow mo. The latest K-drama, Netflix, anong follow mo? You follow a politician? Yan, follower ka niya. Ano at sino ang pinafollow mo? Today, brothers and sisters, National Bible Sunday. How many of you have a Bible at home? Could please raise your hands? Yes. Ang dami na kayong gadgets sa bahay, etc. Bible. How can you follow the Lord if you do not listen to Him? Number two, how many of you read the Bible every day? Ah, uh, hmm, yeah, oh. There you go. And how many of us live the Bible? The invitation is this. The three R's. You talk about the Word of God, read the Word of God, reflect on the Word of God, and repeat the Word of God. Ibig sabihin, multiplier effect. You resent. You make the Word of God alive. Three R's tayo, ha? Read the Word of God. Reflect on the Word of God and repeat the Word of God in your life, in your words, and in your examples. Speaking of following, parents, listen to this. There was a little boy who was asked by the teacher, Do you know how to count? Yes, ma'am. Okay, come on. You count. Yes, ma'am. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, very good, sabi ng teacher. What follows ten? Jack, Queen, King. Diyos ko po. Kaya pala, ang tinafollow niya yung mga magulang niya. You are the first parents. Remember, the children follow you. I hope you're leading them closer to God to become a per- better person. You cannot tell your child, Anak, magsimba kayo, ha? Pero dito lang ako. Sige, kayo na lang. Follow, lead by example. I would like to ask you, parents, anong ugali mo na gusto mong ma-franchise ng mga anak mo, mga apo mo. Franchise means they'll own it, they'll continue it. I hope you can tell your son, your daughter, anak, sana maging mabait ka. Sana you become a kind person. Sana you become a generous person. This is the first discipleship starts in the home when you spread God's love and God's example. Hindi kaya ta nagkakakita dyan. Hello? Uh, following means you have to do it yourself. Ikaw muna. And whom do I follow? You follow someone who is greater than you. Something or someone. Alam po nyo, ang buhay mo will take a turn when you follow something or someone greater than yourself. Then, you are living. Somewhere, I said yes to something, someone greater than myself. And that has made all the difference in my life. Mayroon ka bang sinusundan? Whom to follow? Suggestion po? I follow someone whom I know knows me and who cares for me. Sabi nga po nila, for some people, for most of us, it does not matter how much you know. What matters is that people know how much you care for them. How much you love them. Yung bang idol mo na sinusundan mo, does he, she even know you? Will that person really care for you? Will be there for you? I have decided to follow Jesus. Let's all make that decision. I was 12 years old when I entered the seminary. I started from that side, short pants pa. At an early age, I left home, family. I was homesick. I was crying every night. Bakit nandito ako? Wala si papa, si mama. Secretly, pag na, as a dorm na kami, lights off, tumitingin-tingin ako sa bintana in the direction of Frisco, San Francisco del Monte. Ano na kayang ginagawa nila? You know, what I'm saying is this, if you really want to follow the Lord, my sacrificio, you have to go out of your comfort zone. I ask you today, who are you? What have you sacrificed? What have you given up for the Lord? Fast forward. When we meet God finally someday, you meet Jesus at the end of your life. Sana masabi mo, Lord, minahal ko rin kayo, Panginoon. You told me to forgive somebody. Nag-forgive na po ako because of you. You told me to share my blessings. Opo, tumutulong din po ako. 
Sana masabi natin, Lord, I really followed you. Or, what have you sacrificed? Ask yourself today, marami kasi yung fair weather followers. Pati sa social media, ang dami kang following, kunting ko lang, wala na. Fair weather. They can dump you just like that. Sana po huwag natin gagawin yan kay Lord. Mayroon pong kwento ng isang driver going up to Baguio. Very foggy. But then, he saw a tail light of a car. Sabi nga, sundang ko na lang ito. My God, ang galing. Very foggy, but he was always following the light. Tail light of a car. And then, the car stopped. So, he said, wala siguro. After a while, matagal na, nagbuse na siya. Beep, 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 beep. And the guy from the car went out and said, Oh, boss, bakit ka nagbubuse na? Eh, boss, abanti na tayo. Ha? Huh? Nasa garahe ko na ang kotse ko eh. Ayan. I'm already in the garage. <laughs> that is tenacity for you. Yung hindi ka magigive up. I pray for that grace. You know, tennis players. I used to play tennis. I've written a little reflection about tennis. You know, the most important thing in tennis is eyes on the ball. You have to eye on the ball. Up to the last moment, if you're focused, you make good shots. Number two, firm grip. Pag grip mo mahina, yun. And number three, follow through. When you hit the ball, you really follow through. Even in basketball, follow through. This is what we ask the Lord today. Masana po, we continue to follow through. Sisters and brothers, you and I follow someone who will make us better persons. The Lord wants us to become better. So follow Him. Sigurado, the intention of the Lord is for you and me to become better. So stick with Him. Stay with Him. You are assured that this God wants you to become a better person. Ikabubuti mo yan. So stay with Him, no matter what happens. And a leader is one who leads you for a mission. Dito tayo para makatulong tayo dito. Yan ang tunay na leader. Yung leader na dito kayo sa akin para yumaman ako, akong sikat, etc. Wala yan. He leads somebody to something greater. The same with you, parents, wherever you go, whatever you do. Make sure you lead your children to become better persons. And I ask you today, Are you a team player? Kasi po, we're not following the Lord alone. Excuse me po, tignan mo nga uli yung katabi mo. Ayan, that guy beside you is also following the Lord. We are a team. Team Jesus tayo. Wala po yung superstar, individual players ka lang. No, basketball, team tayo. We have a coach. We all listen to the coach. Wala pong superstar. There's only one superstar. That's our Lord. You know, we had a provincial assembly chapter and elections last January 17, 18, 19. About 170 Fili uh, SVDs, conference were in Tagaytay. Wow! It's been three years and hindi kami nagkita-kita from all over, from Palawan, from uh, Bicol, Calapan, you know, Metro Manila. was nice. Then you realize, I'm just a part of the team. We all have our contributions. Please be aware of that. We are a team. So be a 
team player. And you know what we were doing there in Tagaytay? The three hours again. We came together for a communal rest. Oh, just to be together, kwentuhan, alaskahan, fun. Number two, communal reflection. Oh, ano bang ginagawa natin? Post-COVID na. What are we doing? Are we becoming more better disciples of the Lord? And our communal renewal. We all need that. Mga magulang, bring your children to rest, reflection, and renewal. Team tayo. By the way, I also had a mass in San Carlos City, Pangasinan. Ang ganda po eh. It was a mass of all priests and religious born in San Carlos, Pangasinan. About 15, 20 of us were there, led by Archbishop Marlo Peralta of Neva, Segovia, reminding us about vocations. By the way, we need vocations. Mayroon na bang nagpare sa family ninyo? Nag Nagmadre na ba? Vocation. Be aware of this. Let's help. Tulong-tulong tayo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, magpare ka na lang kaya. Kaya magmadre ka na lang. Malay natin. The point is this. Yung vocation, a call, yung vocation sa Tagalog, yung pinto, vocation. Yun, vocation. Maging bukas tayo. Ha? Kung sabi, eh, itong anak kong ito, matalino to kaya hindi pwede magpare ito. Be open, etc., etc. At huwag mong sasabihin na bukas yun. Now na, if today you hear His voice, harden not your heart. As I speak right now, mayroon bang parang may feeling na gusto magpare, magmadre? Will you please raise your hand now? Okay. You see, don't postpone. If today, ba may binovolunteer doon, ikaw na lang. Don't postpone. You'll never know how God called. He's not here with us, but we have one priest, Brother Chito. Amazing story, if I may share. School of Medicine na siya, UST, tall, good-looking, only son. And even had a girlfriend, but he entered the seminary. He became a priest. He's our missionary now. So, God will surprise us. So, sisters and brothers, we also remember this, huh? If you follow Jesus, mayroon ding palo. The presence of suffering. Napapalo tayo eh. But follow Him anyway. I will follow you. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. This is our prayer today. And so, in the end, think about this. When you come before the Lord at the end of your life, sana masabi natin, Lord, alam po niyo, I tried my best to follow you. There were times mahirap po talaga to follow you, but I tried my best. I hope we can all say that. Nagmalasakit tayo. We listened to God. We trusted Him. And we obeyed Him. Thank you for your efforts of following the Lord in your own way. All of us in our own way. And it starts wherever you are right now. Pakitignan mo nga ulit yung katabi mo. I'd like you to do something very simple. You come here every Sunday, hindi mo alam sino mga katabi mo. Ano ba yan? Sino ba ito? Kapatid mo yan. So now may invite you just raise your hand and say a prayer. I will pray for you. Pagdadasal kita. Maybe I don't know you, but I'm praying for you. This is the best gift we can always give to one another. And please pray for me. Pray for us, your priest. Mindfulness. 
Alam mo at may pakialam ka. This life is not all about you. It's all about a God who is calling you and me to reach out to people around you. Discipleship. Now na. Thank you. We're all disciples. Tulong-tulong po tayo. Si Lord ang superstar. Yan ang sinusundan natin. Bow your head and you say, Lord, reporting for duty, Lord. You know me. You know that I love you, Lord. But many times, I'm selfish. I'm proud. Thank you for reminding me of my mission. Thank you for your unconditional love for me, even if I fail, even if I become proud and selfish. You never give up on me. Lord, salamat po. I love you, Lord. Thank you. I'm sorry. I love you. Brothers and sisters, all of you at home, wherever you are, mga kamag, mahal mo sa buhay, who are beside you now, the three most important words to say, say it now. Thank you, ha? Oh, sorry. I love you. Amen.